We introduced Doppler time of flight as a new computational imaging technique that facilitates direct measurement of per pixel velocity. Our technique requires a time of flight camera and a high speed light source. An optional RGB camera can be used to record color information as well. The prototype camera you see here uses red laser diodes that provide eye safe illumination and a working range of a few meters. As seen in this example, the output of our algorithm is a full field image of the axial velocity, that is, the speed of the scene towards or away from the camera. For precise control over the illumination and modulation frequencies, we build a custom time of flight camera. Nevertheless, all required hardware components are already available in most consumer time of flight cameras. Currently available time of flight cameras measure color and depth information. Depth is estimated by illuminating the scene with a temporally modulated signal and analyzing the reflected light. To this end, the light incident on the camera sensor is modulated with the same temporal frequency, here depicted in red. The measured intensity values therefore correspond to specific depths. Within the working range of the camera, and under the assumption of a diffuse object without global illumination effects, every depth maps to one unique intensity measurement. For objects in motion, however, the illumination frequency is distorted by the Doppler effect before it reaches the camera. This frequency shift results in ambiguous measurements. One depth could correspond to different intensity values, or alternatively, two different depths could map to the same measured value. The Doppler effect is a well-known phenomena that is commonly used to estimate the velocity of astronomical objects or the expansion rate of the universe. In these applications, a shift in the wavelength spectrum of the measured light is observed. In Doppler time of flight imaging, on the other hand, the temporal modulation frequency is shifted by the same effect. For example, the frequency shift of a time of flight camera operated at 50 MHz, introduced by a road cyclist traveling at 10 meters per second, is about 1.67 Hz. Although this is a very subtle shift, we demonstrate that even such a minute change can be analyzed to extract valuable velocity information. For this purpose, we designed the illumination and modulation frequencies of the time of flight camera to be orthogonal within the exposure time of the camera. This results in a constant, dark image when photographing a static scene. The Doppler shifted frequency of a moving target, however, will not be orthogonal to the modulation frequency of the sensor, hence resulting in some non-zero intensity value. In fact, the intensity measurement is directly proportional to the velocity, resulting in a unique mapping between velocity and measured intensity. Here is an example demonstrating this effect. Initially, the fan is being held in place and results in an approximately constant velocity map. When quickly moved back and forth, we observe the appropriate metric velocities. With an additional measurement corresponding to that of conventional time of flight cameras, we can estimate both velocity and the depth of moving scenes. Here, another example showing a quickly moving object with the estimated velocity and depth maps. Note that a conventional time of flight cameras would not be able to estimate the correct depth in this case. We envision a variety of applications for this technique. For example, in entertainment, human-computer interaction, segmentation, tracking, object recognition, motion deep learning, and other computer graphics and vision tasks. Because our light source operates in the visible spectrum, the color images appear with a red tint. Future implementations would employ invisible near-infrared illumination. Slight alignment errors around edges are due to the imperfect alignment of the three measurements taken with our camera. These measurements are captured in quick succession. Using multiple synchronized sensors, however, these could be recorded instantaneously and mitigate artifacts.
The signal to noise ratio in our measurements is rather low and corrupted by Poisson noise. We apply a variant of non local means denoising to all captured raw data. Please find detailed mathematical derivations and experimental validations of the proposed technique in the paper and supplement. Combining the 2D optical flow estimated from the color images and the metric axial velocity measured with our technique allows us to compute the metric 3D velocity field of the scene. This imaging mode has important applications for the navigation of unmanned autonomous vehicles such as self-driving cars and drones. In summary, we introduce a new computational imaging modality that allows us to capture axial velocity as well as color and depth information of a scene. Our camera uses carefully coded illumination and modulation frequencies. Although implemented on a custom research prototype with firmware access, the proposed technique could be readily ported to widely available consumer devices. Doppler Time of Flight provides a transformative platform for computational imaging with potential applications in a wide range of computer graphics and vision tasks, medical imaging, defense, and human-computer interaction.